Attention, flat tire detected. Please repair as soon as possible. Attention, flat tire detected. Please repair as soon as possible. Attention, flat tire detected. Please repair as soon as possible. Attention. Attention, flat tire detected. Please repair as soon as possible. All suspects, report in your location. Understood control, awaiting further instruction. Over. How did they get past the checkpoint? Attention, flat tire detected. Please repair as soon as possible. Attention, flat tire detected. Please repair as soon as possible. Ready to ram the vehicle. Over. Flat tire detected. Please repair as soon as possible. Eyes on suspect. They crossed the checkpoint. Fucking shit! Eyes on target. They crossed checkpoint. This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth Stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. All right. Attention, flat tire detected. Please repair as soon as possible. In pursuit. I repeat, we are in pursuit. All right, let's finish this. Oh. Huh. Huh. Oh. You're done for. Uh. Uh. Oh. It's your funeral. Come on then. Let's start, Sam. Officer in critical condition. Critical. Over. Received. We are trailing the target. Return 
moving to HQ. Search terminated. That's the final one. Area secure. System must be acting up. Are you serious? Tusser, give it up. Jam crop.
absolutely disgusting. Keep going. That's it for the encryptors. You can now upload the virus using the central antenna. All right. Let's see here. I'm reading incoming drones. It can't be Themis drones, can it? No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I know it's big and intimidating as those chemists go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work. Spam, no coming back from this. Yes, the lights are lovely. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off.
Gas's plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Unfortunately, Cass has us cornered on both fronts. He's got a literal army, a highly advanced arsenal and popular support. Not only would we lose a direct conflict, we'd give him good PR. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. I don't know why I was even worried. I'm getting quite good at being in DedSec, I think. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Is that meant to be a compliment? Thanks if it is. Don't, don't worry about Bagsy. You get used to his side commentary. Mad job, cuz. Star Roger, we want to wake you up before life tries to break you up. Now, that's the way to start the day. Star Roger, wake up and experience the coffee.
Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now... I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Of course, we stop him from enacting his reign of terror and Cass spins it into a sob story. His true talent isn't being a soldier, he's a salesman. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Funny you mention it. I had a thought about that. Show them Bagley. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? There are benefits to working alone, but I'm sure our resources could tempt her. I believe she'd make a good ally. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something.
Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. She's disturbingly easy to find. I want to think the enemies she's making are stupider than us, but I'm not feeling confident. Let's hurry. spot for some art. They fucking killed her! We were too late! I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. You're right. I know if it were me, I'd want my work to carry on. Let's look around, find the truth, and expose it. For her. Seems a lot of people come through here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. And I'm sure we all know who they supply. Albion. What do you make of this graffiti bagley? It seems a little... over the top. Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. How often does Clan Kelly brag about killing someone, especially as openly as this? No, something's not right. Who 
looks like whoever tried to clear out Claire's gear didn't see this tablet. You wouldn't scan it for me, would you, Bagley? Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. OK, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <laughs> Insecurity, drop your weapons! You can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it in a carousel. Yo, tag that wall, then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment, then, along with the audio file evidence. That'll be our smoking gun. If we can get our hands on that evidence, Cass won't be able to hide anymore. That Albion bastard mentioned Carousel. They must mean Carousel Plaza, the Albion Propaganda Library. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. What's the point of risking your neck out there if you don't get any credit for it? Paste-ups let the people of London know that DedSec is back, and the increased visibility might even encourage some of them to donate to the cause. is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. Copy that. Best to exercise extreme caution, especially after seeing what they're capable of. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we?
restraining measures. storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. angry group of our souls? Until you lose them, yes. Help, boy, I ain't it. Pursuing the target. Negative. No visual of the suspect. Drones been deployed to apprehend the suspect. friends just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative today. Sorry to hear, but no worries. I'm your man.
about trespassing yet? That's right. Didn't learn your lesson, huh? Please, I was just taking a picture of the exterior for... Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, that was Albion's automated propaganda hub you've thrown a spanner into. Ostensibly for broadcasting safety notifications to nearby optics, really all it does is bombard them with propaganda. Or rather, it did. You found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool! This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tag teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now Scarper or they'll kill you for sure.
has a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there. To the people. You're right. When you lock get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the token we needed. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control his city. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hey, Mish. Ha-ha. <laughs> Shine your face again, are you? Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Hey, hey, hey. Fucking wankers! Yeah. Albion's still pissing about, on. Sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. I have to tell you, I'm feeling fucking knackered. Could do with a holiday right now. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. 
Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Just shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he like to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. Right. Best to get on with it then. Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's faffing about nearby. The enemy is among us. Be on your guard. Allow no one to pass unchecked. We cannot let anyone stop us from protecting He's London. He's fucking right. It won't be in his lifetime if I have anything to say about it. Target. I know you're there! 
Dispatch, deploying drones to apprehend the suspect. 